Okay guys, I'm gonna be reconing uh, one of my BTLs today. Um, I've been a little bit sick, so that's why I haven't been putting videos on. Um, I'm still sick, but whatever. I made a video previously of reconing one, but I just, I wasn't really happy with the video. Uh, so I'm gonna be making a second video of reconing this other one. Um, so if you see the setting changing, that's because I'm using two different videos just to show the same the same steps, the same process. Like I said, I've been sick, so the other video is kind of crappy. I'll try to make this one a little bit better. Okay, to start the recone process, uh, what I'm going to do, because my brain hasn't been working right the past couple days, I'm going to check the impedance of the coils just to make sure that this is the woofer that I want to recone. And it is at 0.7 ohms right now, so this is the dual one. So now it's just time to take a knife to it. Okay, now that my surround has been cut all the way around, it's time to cut out the spider. And the only, the, uh, not the only way, but the easiest way for me is to just bend the cone. And uh, I can get right down to the spider. I know this may be sad for some people to watch, but this is surprisingly incredibly fun. Once you get all the way around the spider, it comes Next right step, out. I'm taking a folded piece of duct tape with the sticky side out and going around the inside of the coil gap just to get any little pieces that might be stuck inside there from the spider or any other dust and dirt that might be in there. And as you can see, there is a little bit of dirt in there. I'm just going to get all that stuff out. Then I'm going to go around the inside of here, pick up all those chunks, and clean this up. Nice. I'm going around and plugging all the vent holes with tape and then I'm going to put tape across pretty much where my hand is to prevent anything from falling back into this coil gap as I'm cleaning up the spider and the outer edge of this. Okay, now that it's all taped off how I want it to be, I'm going to go through and unsolder the tinsels and then I can start to remove the rest of the spider and I won't have to worry about anything falling inside there. Okay, now that I got the tinsels removed, I can finally go through and remove all of this all right, stuff. What I'm doing is going through, going around to each one of these arms of this basket with a flathead and a hammer. And starting to pry all this okay, stuff right up. Now I'm going to use my orbital sander with some 40 grit on it. And that's what I've done so far and it actually works pretty well. Got the spider ring all cleaned up. Now I'm ready to move on to this. Next step, take a wet rag and some degreaser or whatever you need to get all the dust and everything and clean off this. Clean off your spider ring and then you should be set to start putting it back together. So now I'm going to pull all this duct tape off and open all this up so I can start to put my shims in. And again with the duct tape around the inside of the coil gap to get any of the debris that might have fallen in there. Make sure it's nice and clean before you start to put it together. And the recone kits from FI don't um, have any shims so you're going to need to make your own shims. I just used 
uh, case of beer, I cut it up. Um, you need to put them directly across from each other on all four sides so the voice coil can be centered. Okay, I'm going to be test fitting this now. Uh, put the coil over the outside of the shims and then you can just slide it down on. It should slide right in. It'll be nice and centered for a good test fit. And make the shims long enough so you can actually pull them out when you're done. Okay, I'm going to be trying something a little different here. This epoxy needs to be mixed, uh, but it's a little tough to mix it and then try to get it on that little ring. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to squirt both tubes into one syringe, mix it up, and then I can just apply it like this. So that actually worked pretty good. I was able to get it all on just using this. It's already mixed. Apply it. Now I'm going to spread it around a little bit and then put the coil in. Alright, I spread all the stuff around. I already got it on. I'm just going to push it down. Now it'll start to bond. Stuff takes 24 hours. It takes 4 minutes to set and 24 hours to fully cure. Okay, after I glued down the spider, <coughs> I decided to use tape like this and tape up all this around so I can go through with the epoxy and I'm just gonna lay it down like this lay two rolls and then I'm gonna mix it while it's on the rim with a little piece of plastic just using this little piece of plastic going around mixing it all together I'm gonna spread it around so it's even and then I'll start laying down this around. I uh, finally got everything soldered in this was a very interesting procedure the negative one was pretty easy. It went went very nice. Uh, the positive one I kind of had to fight with for a little while. But uh, I hooked the multimeter up and it's right at 1.3, 1.4 ohms. And uh, that's what I got was the dull two. So that's just about right. Okay, so the positive on this one is pretty much done. Uh, I just started this one. What you're going to have coming off this lead here this horizontal lead is a hole in the end and you can see where the tinsels actually all fit together and go through what's working best for me is actually putting all of the ends of the tinsels together and sticking them through the hole it'll be hard kinda hard at first to get all of them through the hole unless the hole is big enough but just use the soldering gun on the opposite side and kinda push through and heat everything up enough till the tinsels actually start to push through and then while you're soldering keep pressure on the top of the tinsels because they're kind of like spring loaded right now so if you heat up this enough they're all just gonna pop out and stick straight up alright now I let the coils cool down from the soldering and I wire them parallel to the multimeter and they are sitting at 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 and so it's fluctuating between a half an ohm and 0.7 which is perfect if not better than what I was looking for so I'm pretty happy with the decision to recone alright as you can see here we have the brand new 5BTL15 reconed done except for the dust cap which I'm gonna do now but I still need to remove the shims so what I'm gonna do is pull them out the opposite ones at the same time. The voice call doesn't want to shift. And it's always the exact opposite. So it's completely centered the whole time you're doing it. Using my same little piece of plastic, my epoxy. all mixed up mixed it I'm just gonna spread it around uh, it's all the way on the ring all the way around just be ready to put on find your voice coils and that's it I'm just gonna keep pushing this down getting it to set stay tuned and see if I get hit in the face of the dust cap